A hundred pounds is really something. My next, uh, my next guest has an arm that weighs that much. Uh, Pat, Pat, Pat McCormick is, um, is his name. Uh, that, that's a man's name, as you know. You've seen Pat many times. Uh, he's really funny. He's the only person I know who ever went to a Halloween party in a business suit and won first prize. He, he is weird, but uh, wonderful. Will you welcome Pat McCormick? Do you have any idea why I told Natalie I had seen her at a party? Yes, a her brother man. is Joseph Stalin. <laughs> Pat, they've and spent you were going to have him as a mystery guest. They've... Don't you remember, you devil? They've spent a fortune to hush that up. How oh. dare you bring that up? Uh, last time I saw you was at one. You would think I do nothing but go to parties, but remember that thing the other night at... Um, yes, at it was Rachel a real was? thrill. Uh, I was here and to say hello to Dick, and Groucho Marx was on the show, and he came up and said I... I uh, saw you do a line one night, and it's, you know, to have Groucho Marx mm -hmm. admire a line was quite a thrill. He's, he'd seen me talk about Don Rickles, how Don had kept me waiting for a half an hour because he was out walking his rat. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, <laughs> so uh, he invited me to go to dinner where we met Dick later, and it was uh, to be with Groucho Marx in a limo. We're driving along. And we went by a hospital, and he said, uh, Driver, pull over here. I'm going in there for a rub down. <laughs> and he said, I'm going to hop on the operating table and see what they remove. And he never went, stops like I that. I know. It, he incredible. was just really up. I guess it was from doing the show yeah. or something. But he was uh, The lights really blew funny. out at the party where we were, and everyone thought Pat was behind it. Um, it was a very strange thing, I mean, the lights I thought that out. I had blown them out. Yeah. Yeah, which you probably could. How has your Irish luck been holding? The last time you were here, we talked a little about the luck of the Irish and examined the myth of whether well, there is such a thing. Uh, I'm hoping that it's uh, that today is an example because uh, today my uh, karate instructor was beaten up by a hairdresser. <laughs> this, uh... So I hope that's something that's uh, passed by now. Oh, I think so too. I hope it doesn't mean your luck's changing. <laughs> Yeah, this was in California, I assume, because that's where you yes, reside these days. Yes. As well as make your home. That's right, yep. and uh, I'm very proud of a thing that's happened to me out there. An honor? Yes. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Ed Reinecke is uh, getting ready for the bicentennial of California. It's 200 years since California was founded, and they're looking for the 200 oldest California citizens. And I have done a thing about Wrinkle City, and I'm kind of <laughs> specialized in old people, so I'm on the search, and I've run into some terrific people. And you're uh, looking for yeah. the 200? Do you have to put in? No, you, uh, I'm looking for the 200 oldest people oh, for this thing. Oh. The oldest yeah. residents, in other words. And it's interesting yeah. that the oldest person we've found so far in California is Robert Cummings. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just kidding, Bob. Uh, old, uh, <laughs> uh, I was at his house the other night. He'll forgive that. Old, uh, old Sequoia coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cut him in half and counted the rings. I'll bet uh, you did. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> but some of these people, Dick, now you wouldn't believe how old some of them are. Do you know how one fellow was so old, his first job was parking covered wagons? Really? <laughs> that was an old That fellow. is old, isn't it? <laughs> Where else is this antiquity search taking you? Well, there was one old lady that was so old, when she picked up a birth control pill, it laughed at her. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. I, I love these old people, and we have a great time mm -hmm. together. But I'm, you know, I'm so amazed at how old some of them are. One fellow leaned down on his birthday and had so many candles and everything that the heat melted his dentures. <laughs> that must have been a, quite a revolting sight to see. That was. I, I have a shot of it here. Oh, I think you do. We'll save that for later. Okay. But, but and uh, well, there was one fellow there that uh, his his first uh, the first movie he ever saw was Birth of a Nation. Hmm. Only in his case, the nation was Egypt. <laughs> Isn't that old? 
Say, isn't that old, folks? <laughs> That's really about as old as you can get. How, how uh, any other very, very old uh, people that you've encountered? I, I don't... Yes, they're, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the uh, way they're going to end the pageant with all these old people is they're, they're going to all gather, the 200 oldest people, and they're going to dive down with a plane and shoot wheat germ into their chests. <laughs> it's just going to be gala. Have you, have you thought of leaving your mind to anyone? <laughs> like maybe UCLA or Harvard. I really would like to know what the uh, topography of the inside of your head is. Say, speaking of UCLA, you live near there. No. Yes. Where, do you still have yeah. that house on? Uh, yes, it's well, I don't still... want to give you a address because people will be coming over yeah, all I the don't... time. I dare them. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I've been there. Sure, they can dance with my lawn jockey. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, yes, of course. Well, what would you say? No, uh, UCLA is doing mm. some great work on uh, transplants that uh, I have made kind of a hobby since it's nearby, and I've gone down and seen what they're up to. And there have been some very interesting transplant things. I, by the way, am the, uh, so tall because I have had a midriff transplant. <laughs> the donor you may know, uh, Mickey Rooney. <laughs> That's the old Rooney midriff, That's is it? Sure. Well, he would be a lot taller today. Of course he would. <laughs> He's my lawn jockey. Well, no. I, I certainly hope but, it takes. <laughs> but there is a, a, a very interesting transplant. They put the, uh, they used a hyena's heart. And the operation, they put a hyena's heart in a man, and the operation took four hours. It was supposed to take two hours, but the patient kept laughing, and the doctor thought he was doing it wrong. <laughs> Gee, I, was... <laughs> I so like that. <laughs> well, the other fella a... had a, a, a dog's heart put into him. No. And the doctor never got paid for the operation, because every time he sent the bill, the guy buried it in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that something? Preposterous, yes. But still, there is an air of truth about this that shines through. That's right, and they, they, they work with animals there, too. They, they took a hippopotamus and did a very bizarre operation. They took a hippopotamus, and they put a little mouse heart in him. And last week, it ate a cheese factory. <laughs> oh, I have fun I, out there, Dickie. I think you have more fun in life than the oh. rest of us. Do you know the name of Natalie Wood's new movie? Um... That's certainly one out of one. Natasha Goes West? No. Do, do you know the name of Natalie Wood's new movie? Do I, yes. Yeah. Yes, I meant to ask you earlier. It's called Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. Oh, yes, uh, Paul Mazursky and Larry Tucker. Oh, yes. Well, we're really? kinda... Bob and Ted and Carol and Alice is the name of the... Oh. Huh? Are you friends? Somebody went to the preview. The preview. No, I'm not right. who wrote it and directed it. Yeah. Uh, friends of mine, yes. Oh. The title sounds like... Uh, it's supposed to be terrific, I hear. I understand. It's been previewed two or three times, and I understand last week in New York. And About wife swapping. Yes. <laughs> it's a... Um... Do you believe in it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a hot. But I'm on my honeymoon. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. Oh, that's true. How many know that we have to pause and come back? Hands, we'll be back. Uh -huh.